Hello, 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 hello. No rest for the wicked, baby. We are going again. That was pretty great, right? That was pretty good. Well, now it's only going to get better. All right. Let me just say this. I just want to come clean with you guys right now before we start. If you had told me as a teen that I would one day moderate an Evil Dead panel, I would have peed my pants. Okay? In related news, I just peed my pants. That's why I have the podium here. All right? Clean up in aisle four. Uh, are you guys ready for the ultimate experience in grueling terror? I I'm so ready. All right, let's do it. Like a bunch of frisky young adults looking for a weekend getaway, they don't know any better. We are headed back to the cabin for a reboot of my favorite horror franchise of all times. Ladies and germs, put your hands together for Evil Dead director Fede Alvarez. He's coming out right over there. All right, do it again for Evil Dead star Jane Levy is coming out. All right, you loved him in the original Evil Dead. You pitied him. You pitied him for all the abuse he took in Evil Dead 2, and you didn't even realize he was in something called Assault on Dome 4. Ladies and gentlemen, producer and Ash himself, the always groovy Bruce Campbell. <laughs> the man can make an entrance. All, All right. right. All right. Settle down. Settle down. All right, listen, before we get going, we have an actual image from the film. Would you guys like to see that? Would you, would you guys want to Look at that! Take a picture. It'll turn out great. <laughs> Don't go in the cellar. Never, no, never go near the cellar. When will these darn kids learn, Bruce? Never. They huh? will never learn. They will never learn. Not in 33 years, they'll never learn their lesson. Thank God. Because I got two kids in college. Bruce Frey, uh, I remember for a while here, as one of those uh, nerds that was constantly looking online, like, what's going on with the Evil Dead? What's the next step? And you, uh, you, know, you were toying with the idea, should we do a, uh, another sequel? Should we do a remake? Uh, tell me why you decided to go down sort of the, the, this path with the remake. Um, as middle-aged filmmakers now, <laughs> we realize that maybe, it, maybe it's just too late to strap on that chainsaw one more time. <laughs> yeah, you, you think we should? <laughs> All right. Oh All right, thanks for helping me decide. I, there will be an Evil Dead 4 after all. <laughs> oh, that's going up on the internet right now. But in the meantime, You can't handle his boomstick. I'll meet you in the parking lot after the show. Let's <laughs> boom it up, baby. But the, idea, the point is, before this jerk won't shut up, <laughs> is that it's time to give these people what they want. They want a new experience done with handsome, young, <laughs> hot thespians being covered with new buckets of blood, with a new vision from a new director, Fede Alvarez, handpicked by Sam Raimi himself. We know that you're impatient. You're impatient people. You're rude, crass, impatient people. And we know what you need. You need horror with blood flowing down the screen, out of every orifice. We know you need it. You will be the judge of it, but we did not screw you over on this movie. You will be just as freaked out. Your shit will be just as freaked during this movie as it was in the original. And if you need me to crown her the new Ash, I'll put that crown on my fucking <laughs> self. You better remember her, because in about two movies from now, she ain't coming back here. What the hell is Julianne Moore doing here, by the way? What? 
I do. I got to say, I want to see here covered in blood. I just want to see that. Where's your art film now, baby? <laughs> All right, but I digress. Right. Okay, I'm yes, sorry. Yeah, you, you, you do digress. All right, uh, Fede, how did you end up a part of this? I had this sort of vision of Bruce, like Rob and Sam, just calling you and saying, "Join us." <laughs> it was a little bit like that. Yes, uh, it was kind of out of the blue. I was uh, starting to develop another project with Sam, and and out of the blue, he skyped me. Actually, he goes like, "Hey, Fede, do you want to remake Evil Dead for me?" I was like, "Come again?" <laughs> like, "Do you want to remake Evil Dead for me?" And and of course, if, you're a, if there's any young filmmaker out there in the crowd and, and you never made a film and you want to make a film and Sam Raimi asks you that, so you don't go like, no, thank you, I don't believe in remakes. <laughs> you go, fuck yeah, and you go and try to make the best remake you, can, you could ever make. And that's, that's how it happened. It was as simple as that, and we pitched him <laughs> something. It was basically very truthful to the, the movie I saw when I was 12. I saw even though when I was 12, that's a very bad idea, like you shouldn't. <laughs> the, that shit will traumatize you forever if you're a kid, and it did. But that was exactly the movie that I wanted to remake, that, that thing that stayed with me, that horrible fear, the, the violence, the gore, the craziness of that, that movie. That's why we bring on a new one. And that's why Sam, I think, responded right away, and all these guys went like bananas. It was like, yeah, that's the movie we had to make. And right away, we were making it. So, and and, and Jane, busy. what was the pitch to you? Was it like, hey, we want to do lots of really horrible things to you, which may or may not include demonic possession uh, somewhere along the line. Maybe or maybe not tree rape. <laughs> <laughs> might happen. It might. <laughs> might happen. Um, actually, no. I went after this pro project myself, and Bruce was the one in the auditioning room trying to scare me away um, or, or just making sure that I was up for the job. It was like... Um, I went into the auditioning room and I did my audition and they were like, okay, and Bruce was like, do you know what it feels like to be buried alive? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what it feels like to have tubes stuck down your throat so you can projectile vomit on people? Um, and I was like, no, but I'm ready and I'm really excited. Um, now she wants to fucking kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, she's not even disputing it. I'm amazed that she's here right now. No, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> well, just because he took all the abuse. I mean, I, I almost feel like it doesn't, almost doesn't feel like a real Evil Dead film unless Bruce Campbell is getting just mercilessly abused. Did you, like, go off camera and have Sam just beat you with a stick off camera just for the authenticity's sake? Or? Are you talking to me? <laughs> oh, I'm talking to you. <laughs> oh, um, yes, Sam beat me with a stick. <laughs> I had broken my ankle on the set. Hey, he paid you. He was limping horribly, and he poked me with a stick. Did Fetty poke you with a stick? <laughs> that was the least. No, Fetty didn't poke me with a stick. Uh, that was Maybe you should have. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was quite a large stick on set. W were you we under orders poke. to poke her with a stick, Fetty? The what? Were you under orders from Bruce to poke her with a stick? There was a lot of that, yes. Okay. Like, oh, Jane got poked, it. just not with a stick. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm referring to the movie, of course. Of course. If there are any children in here, just the exits are in the back. Well, just, if they are, they shouldn't right. be here. They shouldn't be here. <laughs> so, Jane, what is scary, though? The, the, the creatures in the suburbs in Suburgatory or the creatures in the, in the woods in uh, Evil Dead? Uh, I think the, 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 the demons in Evil Dead. A little bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Were there, uh, Bruce, are there any, uh, like, Props from the original films. Is the classic going to make an appearance? Is Ted Raimi going to show up as fake Shemp? I mean, any of these little things you can keep your eyes out for? Dalton, this motion picture stands on its own. Oh. We don't need silly props or references for you to go, ooh, look. That means yes, by the way. That is a confirmed yes, if ever I heard one. So, you got a problem with that? <laughs> oh, man, this is Dalton, so... Dalton, this movie will be like putting on a comfortable shoe mm -hmm. that will squeeze you. <laughs> I didn't say what kind of a shoe it was. I said it's a comfortable shoe for you evil dead freaks out there. You go, oh, that feels kind of like an evil dead shoe. <laughs> oh my God, but it isn't, but it's just as horrifying. Oh my God, I can't get the shoe off! <laughs> That's what this movie's gonna be like. <laughs> 
This all sounds incredible. I mean, I just, I have to admit, though, I, I just wish we had some footage to see. Don't you guys wish we yeah. had some actual footage of this yeah. film to see? I mean, wouldn't you guys love to be the first people in the world to see an exclusive sneak peek of the Evil Dead? I mean, look, don't talk to me. You got to talk to Fede. He's the guy you got to convince. Well, yeah, um, we do actually we do have something to show you guys. This is an exclusive thing. Um, but before we show it, is there one other thing? There's anybody with an Evil Dead tattoo anywhere here? Any Evil Dead anybody? tattoos in the house? Somebody has an Evil Dead tattoo somewhere. There. Oh. Over there. So, okay, good. This exclusive sneak, sneak peek is for you, dude. It's <laughs> for that guy. Though. All right, guys, uh, check this out. Um, it's pretty unbelievable. That's all I'm going to say. You're the first people in the world to see it. The new Evil Dead sneak here peek go. right here. Uh, Fede, Fede, dude, the, dude, right. the tongue, the right. tongue. Where, where's the guy with the tattoo? Did, did you like it? Did he? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> he fainted. I, I haven't seen that yet. That just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, first I saw a chainsaw. I saw good. vines wrapping around a woman. I saw what looks like maybe a possessed hand. So, is this going to take elements from the first and the second Evil Dead uh, movie here? Uh, there's all, all, I think there's all kind of levels, right? There's some things that people that never saw the originals would... I mean, <laughs> you would love the movie anyways. And, but there's a lot of hints. There's a lot of things that are just out of the originals. And, and, and there's a lot of very small details only for... You have to be a very uh, Evil Dead freak. You have to have to an Evil it. Dead tattoo to really yeah. appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. You've got to be the only one in the theater, yeah. theater going like, I saw that. But it's like, uh, there's a lot of those all the time. Well, the, the big difference between Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2 is that obviously Evil Dead is sort of straight horror, and Evil Dead 2 has a lot of, it's almost like Three Stooges uh, horror. Uh, we uh, refer to it as Splat Stick. Yeah. Splat Stick, exactly. Yes. So there you go. So what's sort of tonally, what were you guys going uh, for? You tell me. Do you think that was funny? No, I did not. <laughs> I don't think it was funny either. All but right. that's, that's very reflective of the tone of the movie, definitely. It's, a, it's a hardcore, horror, violent, brutal, gory film. Pretty much. Pretty much. I think Fetty said it all right there. Well, I don't imagine that there's anyone out there that would ha like, have any questions for these guys, for the Evil Dead, by ch and there they stand up immediately. Look at them, camped out. This is your chance, guys, to Ashina. talk to... Ashina. Hello, uh, Ashina. <laughs> Fede, Bruce, and Jane. Uh, as always, we'll start uh, left to right from uh, our stage. So right here, yes. Oh, we remember you from the carry panel. What's up, man? Uh, you gonna ask how much blood again? No. <laughs> that was because they were mentioning blood before. Uh, no, but I have a question for so all three of you. Uh, Where are we looking? Over here. Oh, hey. Uh, the question is, when you see these clips, as Jane mentioned before, uh, or do you get this crap scared out of you, even though you actually know what sort of goes behind it? I swear to God, I'm so scared right now. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding. That just freaked the shit out of me. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and telling you right now, you were completely wrong. That wasn't that scary. The suburbs are scarier. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks. Yeah, I mean, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that what All right, center aisle, what's up? What's up? And actually, this is for all three of you. That, about the trailer, that was the most graphic trailer I've ever seen in my life. Like, <laughs> nice. I've, I've seen scarier. <laughs> no, and but this is for Sam Raimi. Loved you in Spider-Man 1, where you kind of said, the human spider, oh, that sucks. That was just genius. Uh, just a reminder, I named Spider-Man. <laughs> That's right. That's all. It's a reminder because he won't let you forget it. And in, in Spider-Man 2, as the snooty I usher, I did not let Spider-Man into the theater to see his girlfriend perform, so technically I'm the only character who's ever defeated Spider-Man. <laughs> All right, Thank you for your insightful question. Let's go over to the chainsaw over here. Hi, um, I was just wondering, um, when you first Do decided, people know who you are when you walk around like that, lady? Yeah, a lot of oh, people of have, have said, oh, female ash. Um, female ashes are kind of hot, actually. 
I was wondering, when you first decided to reboot the Evil Dead, um, did you know right away that you were going to have a female Ash, or was that kind of through the casting process? I think that was through Fetty. No, no, it's based on Fetty's script. It was his take on which characters do what, and it just sort of uh, fell that way. In the original Super 8 movie we used to raise money for the original Evil Dead, it was called Within the Woods, and that had a female protagonist. It's actually more traditional. Having a man uh, as the protagonist screaming like a woman is a little different. <laughs> now, we're, now we have a woman screaming like a man, so it's slightly different. All right, thank you. Thank you, Ashina. <laughs> yeah, right over here. All right, my question's for Bruce. Um, Where are you? Can, right, right here. Oh, hello there. Keep can up, you Bruce. recite the passage for me? Uh, if I was your little monkey, I could. <laughs> Well played. You, you know, I can try and save it, dude. Come on, try and save it. Um, yeah, come on. I understand. I understand. Come on, quickly, on your feet. Oh, so I no, have another he question. understands, Dalton. <laughs> I have another question. The, there we go. All Who right. the hell are you? <laughs> All right, and we're going to move to the center aisle right now. All right. Uh... <laughs> What's this up? one's for the man in red, Bruce. Uh, we all know smooth is smooth, so who is smoother, Ash or Sam Axe? Ash or Sam Axe. Thank you, referring to the character Sam Axe from the number one show on cable, Burn Notice. Thank you. Thank you for mentioning that. Um, well, uh, Sam is a very tough old man character, and uh, Ash is a very tough younger man. Uh, Sam would win... Uh, but Ash would cheat. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. Yes, right over here. Um, first of all, I want to say that was fucking crazy. It was crazy. crazy. That was fucking insane. Um, what I want to know is it had come out um, a little while back that Diablo Cody was somehow involved with the screenplay. Can you talk about her involvement and how she was brought into the project? Well, I guess I'll address that to some degree. Um, as middle-aged men, we don't really know how young people talk. <laughs> Excellent. And <laughs> that was a super dope, fresh answer, Bruce. <laughs> yeah, I picked that up. Thank you. Oh, oh, and she won a fucking Academy Award? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot that little detail. She, but let me answer that too. Like, I think what, what she did is uh, because we, we wrote the script with my best friend from back home. He's somewhere around there. We've been friends since we were 12. And when and Sam asked us, was like, yes, but let us write a script. He let us write a script. We did that. But, and, and when I think it, once we had a draft that we wanted to shoot, I wanted to have, I'm not American, I mean, you might have noticed. <laughs> and and uh, so I wanted to have somebody that could bring some cool dialogue or something interesting to these characters, and we thought that she was great doing that. And she brings it to give us help at the end, like uh, just shaping up some of the dialogue. But uh, that, 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 that was And she was, was also exactly writing for a female protagonist, so we thought that would, mm. might be useful as well. Excellent. All right, right over here, yes. Hi, Bruce. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Are you okay, ma'am? You want to get you anything? <laughs> I think she needs a little CPR, Bruce. <laughs> Who are, who are you as today? I, I cried when I met you last year. All I did was cry when I went up I remember here. that. You freaked <laughs> out. Get okay. it together, woman. For Christ's sake, I put my pants on one leg at a time. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm sorry, okay. Um, okay, really quick. I God bless you. you for crying, though. You're like the only chick who ever cries. I go to these conventions. My wife of 22 years is like, have fun. <laughs> All those 18-year-old guys trying to get in your pants. <laughs> I'm like, thank God, thank God, there's some chicks showing up at these things, for God's sake. I'm wearing nice stuff. <laughs> Come on, I'm combing my hair here. Give me a break. Okay. I'm sorry, okay. ma'am, I digress. Um, it's okay, um, okay. Okay, I loved you the movies. I played all the video games, and I don't think you get enough credit and burn on this. There, I said it. Okay, now my question. Um, with all the popularity with movies Just a today, second, just a second. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, can she make it? Can she make it? Oh no. I'm gonna take a picture. 
Five dollars. Not a penny more, not a penny less. I'm sorry, I have to film this. I've never seen anything like this in my life. <laughs> okay, okay, really. I'm very sorry, sorry we didn't even get to your damn question, did we? <laughs> it was you, so it's okay. <laughs> All right, then beat it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, my question was, with all the popularity with movies and things like that, what was the real decision as far as making a new movie versus doing a sequel, picking up where you left off? Oh, uh, it's time for something fresh. Yeah. It is. It's time for something fresh. It, it's nice to make a movie where you don't see the, the green garden hose spewing the shit out. <laughs> That's all we wanted to do, yeah. was just make a movie where you don't see the green garden hose. That, 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 that was the whole goal. Look, we got some really talented people here who kicked it out. They really worked their ass off on this movie. I really want you to see it, because I know a lot of you fans were pissed. You were pissed when you heard about the remake. Don't think I didn't read about it every single time. No, say no, you fucking asshole, you fucked it up. Just wait and see the movie, I swear to God, and I will accept all of your collective apologies <laughs> on the Monday after this movie opens. We don't want to screw this up, we really don't. Even though I make fun of you fans relentlessly, we do not want to screw this up because we, we want to make you happy horror film goers, and these two geniuses here made it happen, so... Get ready, it's coming in April. All right, uh, right over here, center aisle, Mets fan, what's up? Unfortunately, yes. I'm sorry, when I first read about this movie, I heard that the main character was not gonna be called Ashley. That's a unisex name, or did you actually call her Ashley? Since it's My name's Mia in the film. Okay. Actually, I asked Fede one day why, how he named the characters, and this is something that I don't know if you, you told everybody. <laughs> Too late but, no, I didn't. But do you want to tell them? Yeah. <laughs> they have to find out. I think. Okay. Some people already did, I think. There's, the name. Uh, there's a, a play on words, maybe, if you, if you, if you uh, listen to all the characters' names, yeah. it might spell something out. Ooh, oh. a little project for you guys. All right. I'll wait I'll at 7-Eleven for that boomstick. <laughs> All right, uh, right over here, yes. Hi, um, this question is obviously for Mr. Bruce, no offense to Jane. That's okay. <laughs> or anybody else. But, you know, I was, I'm just really thrilled that there's an Evil Dead coming out, and I was just hoping or wondering, you are Evil Dead, Bruce, so how are you not even in a cameo? Even if you're just making the trees maybe do something <laughs> bad or something. <laughs> She wants to see you knocked around a little more, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am, I will, I will be there in spirit in every frame of this movie. All right. It's time to pass the torch to someone who's more capable than ourselves. All right. But look, don't, don't get me wrong. Sam Raimi is threatening from his deathbed he's still going to make another one of these damn movies. So Ooh, did you hear that? It, it ain't over till it's over. He told me when he asked he me to do it, he just has to finish making that. the most expensive movies in Hollywood history, and then maybe he'll get back to the Evil Dead movies. Yeah. It will. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, uh, guys, thank you so much. Incredible time here. You saw the most kick ass trailer or sneak peek you're ever going to see right there. Give it up for Bruce Campbell, Jane Levy, and Fede Alvarez, The Evil Dead. Thanks, guys.